This is Thumb Wins, Midweek Update and Weekend Outlook. Here is what's important this week in Michigan's Upper Thumb. After a few sunny and mild days, the Thumb region and southeast Michigan is having a snowstorm today. Snow is expected all day Wednesday with toll accumulations of 4 to 7 inches possible and winds gusting as high as 35 miles per hour. These conditions will last until the early morning hours on Thursday. In addition, the entire shoreline of the Upper Thumb is also under a lakeshore flood advisory. With sustained onshore winds around 25 miles per hour, which will continue through this evening and then become northwesterly overnight tonight. Flooding may be experienced by persistent onshore wave action throughout this time, especially in Huron County. Across Saginaw Bay, the Oscoda Wurtsmith Airport near Lake Huron is being contemplated as a horizontal rocket launch site. During the Cold War, Wurtsmith was an Air Force base from 1953 until it closed in 1993. Its 11,800-foot runway is able to handle large jet aircraft to serve as the first stage of a space vehicle launch. The former base made the cut for consideration for launches of low-Earth orbit satellites. Final site selection is expected in mid-March. If selected, operations are expected to start in 2022. In local news, a tractor rollover accident resulted in the death of an 18-year-old Elkton man last Monday in Mead Township. Two men were hauling a towed trailer that experienced poor terrain close to a ditch and tipped over, trapping both. One man, the victim's grandfather, was able to free himself and call for help. Good Samaritans arrived to assist moving the tractor and trailer enough to free the unresponsive man. Tragically, he was pronounced dead at the scene. And now this. Take me fishing, because our boat's cooler than any video game. Take me fishing. And make me feel 16 again. Take someone you love out on the water and see where the water takes you. Take me fishing, because my wedding will be sooner than you think. Rediscover the joy of boating and fishing. Get information and get going at TakeMeFishing.org. Elsewhere in Michigan, the coronavirus is being monitored in 326 Michigan residents who recently traveled overseas. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services deems the travelers as medium or low risk for the virus. The residents are being asked to self-quarantine themselves at home while the health department monitors each person. The World Health Organization reported Tuesday that cases worldwide topped 80,000. The farm restaurant near Port Austin is holding a fundraiser and food drive on Saturday, March 7, from 5 to 9 p.m. The restaurant is taking any non-perishable food items, and personal hygiene products for the Kindy Presbyterian Food Pantry. For $15, the farm is preparing a barbecue chicken dinner with live entertainment. For details, search for the Farm Restaurant Facebook page. In local weather this weekend, after our snowstorm midweek, we are expecting to see a bit of sun this weekend. Friday starts as mostly cloudy, with a high near 25 and breezy, with a nighttime low around 17. Saturday looks to be partly sunny, with a high near 27, with a nighttime low around 15. Leaving Sunday with a sunny outlook and a high near 30. We invite you to listen in on our weekly stories from our podcast. Search for The End of the Road in Michigan from wherever you are listening and subscribe. That's our midweek update and weekend outlook. If you have a news tip or suggestion, contact us on our website at thumbwind.com. Stay tuned to Thumbwind in your local news for more updates. Have a great day.